Hey guys, so finally doing a check today, a uh, full check of everything. This beaver line has not produced like I wanted it to. Um, it's been honestly really, really frustrating, disappointing. Uh, just not, not producing. Um, I'm on some good systems, some good systems where I've caught fur before, some new ones, plenty of sign, just not producing. Uh, for today, we're at 33. I'd love to at least get to 40, you know. Long ways from my goal, but we'll see what we can do. So hopefully it's a good day, fellas. Well, let's see, guys, maybe we got lucky. We're going swimming, fellas. If you're wondering too, that water is still cold. A little better one than I thought. His tail made him look like it wasn't so good, but. Buried in the sand. Ugh. I haven't had to work that hard for one in a long time. I'm glad this is so cold because I was starting to sweat. Just kidding, it's only 40 degrees. That, that there was a, definitely a workout. We need to make a better shelf for this. There we go, I like that a little better. Yeah, a lot of guys give me crap for not wearing gloves, but I can't, I gotta have the feel. I gotta be able to feel my, my hands. So. Nothing in the other one, so we'll get him out of here and hopefully things start improving, guys. It's been a little rough go here. Ugh. 
Well, this is a decent little creek here. Uh, this couch um, was actually right up here the other day. Uh, not really sure how it ended up down here. We got my set right below it. Wow. Holy cow. There's a tank. Yes. <laughs> That's a beaver, guys. That's a good one. Yes. Whoo. Big female. Get her out of here and get this remade. Uh, this is one of those sets where um, if I can show you, I actually had the set right down here. Um, if you can see, there's an actual pipe running right down through here. I had it up there and it's too shallow, so I moved it down here, get a little bit deeper water. Um, decent creek system, but this is the first thing we've caught on this, guys, on uh, the fourth check, so pretty frustrating. Good beaver, though, real good beaver. So we just got done uh, checking this bridge down there and we've been here for a while now and I just now noticed this walking up the bank. That's a catch circle. Somebody caught a coon here. And I understand why. Great high bank trail coming down through here. Uh, great spot. Interesting, you know, I've been thinking about coming to a lot of these spots next year and checking them out for coon trapping and If I do it looks like I have some competition well This is kind of frustrating. Haven't caught anything here yet add insult to injury uh, It's all frozen here on the bank you can see where my uh, foot and hand went now we're a nice muddy mess uh, This stuff gets slick guys you get a little I mean, just frozen with a little slop on top. And you get upside down in a hurry. Oh. Well, I just had something pretty cool happen. Uh, I was going through one of my small towns that I run through here and uh, my old competition, um, we, we set a lot of roads together. Uh, he actually recently hung it up here in the last few years. Um, I actually saw him working. He does uh, concrete work right here along the road. So I stopped and kind of shot the bull a little bit with him and told him, you know, I'm not doing very well, I'm struggling. And he was a big coyote trapper. I mean, he does a lot of private ground trapping and he's gonna reach out to some of those farmers and his connections and see if he can't get me on some private ground chasing beaver. Uh, not exactly what I wanna do, but you know, kind of have to call an audible at this point. We are just not producing well on these river lines. So uh, pretty cool though, he's got those connections and willing to help me out. It's, it's not always about what you know, but it's about who you know. So we'll we'll sit here and uh, wait for the call. Well, we're back at Old Faithful again. Uh, I've done pretty good here. I think we've taken three or four beaver off of this bridge already. Uh, one of the only bridges I trap coon on. Caught them in dog proofs down in here and in boxes. Whew. I'm telling you what guys, this frozen ground again starting to thaw is just miserable. I hate it. Absolutely hate it. Oh. This one's kind of tough to get to also. Trap's gone. That's good. This one's still set over here. It almost looked like a beaver foot out there, but it is not. And this drops off deep too. It's 
some weight there. There we go. That's what I like to see. Starting to get a little bit of confidence in myself again. Uh, you know, it's been kind of a kind of a tough, tough beaver season for me, that's for sure. this back down in some deeper water. Kind of hard to do from the top angle. I do love these TS-85s though. Now it doesn't look like I'm real deep there, but that pan's probably eight inches underwater. It's kind of a really steep ledge here. Uh, now, take some lure. Uh, we're kind of changing things up a little bit, going to some more curiosity lure. Um, this one's uh, Dobbins Beaver Plus. <coughs> but, Maybe our two-year-olds are starting to roam. That'd be nice, that'd be good. So yeah, this is at least four we've taken off this, so good little area. Uh, I'm gonna relure this other one over here and get out of here. Well, not too terribly bad, uh, considering the what I've, season I've been having. Uh, five's pretty good. Um, you know, this puts us at 38 is all. I was hoping to be well into 60 or 70 by now. Uh, it's just not happening um they're just not there they're just not interested i don't know um some spots with great activity they're just not working the sets um like i said we switched a lot of stuff up today we're going for a little more curiosity lure trying that uh everything's been relured reworked to uh, you know hopefully withstand the, the rain we're going to get tomorrow in the next couple days i think so uh just frustrating guys kind of demoralizing um, my last check would even put on film uh, I ran everything for one beaver so you want to talk about taking the wind out of your sail that's frustrating but hopefully now the two-year-olds are up and moving a little bit uh, no that's all we caught today except for the big one here but um, just just rough go you know we're gonna push through it hopefully have a good season but I'll tell you what when you're burning a tank of gas 250 miles and you're not producing near what you think you should it's tough it's really tough so anyway real happy with this big one today that's gonna that one will be a nice nice payday but anyway guys uh 38 sets are reworked and relured and hopefully in a couple days we're gonna have another really good day <laughs>